Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi and the DeWalt. Now the DeWalt, this is, I believe, this is DeWalt's uh, best impact driver when it comes to a quarter inch X. So in this video, we're just going to do a uh, versus video between the 1.5 amp hour battery and 2 amp hour battery. We aren't going to use any special batteries or higher amp batteries in this video. We will in the uh, upcoming video. The model number for the DeWalt is uh, DCF887, a three speed with a variable trigger impact driver. It has a tri uh, LED beams on the front with a diff does this have, yeah, with a diffuser. Uh, first speed is zero to 1000 RPMs, speed two, uh, zero to 2900 RPMs, and speed three, zero to 32, uh, 3,250 RPMs. This is 3,800 impacts per minute. So this thing is a, this thing is a beast. Now the, the Ryobi is model number P238, 18 volt system, uh, three speed settings. It does not give uh, speed settings per set, uh, for one and two, it only gives it for three. And on speed three, it is zero to 3,200 RPMs and 4,000 impacts per minute. And so this is approximately 200 uh, impacts per minute more than the DeWalt. But the uh, RPM for the DeWalt is 50 RPMs more. So the DeWalt wins in the RPMs and the Ryobi wins in the impacts per minute. The, both of these are brushless motors. Uh, they do, they both of these have a special battery system for their brushless stuff. Uh, this is uh, the FlexVolt and this is the HP system. See how well these do. And remember, when you work, always wear gloves and safety glasses. Be safe. Alrighty, so first we are going to use uh, the DeWalt with a 1.5. The collet push-in. Yes, it is. The collet is push-in. You do not need to adjust it to put it on, but you do need to adjust it to take it off, which I love that feature. Alrighty, so right here is good. For speed three, uh, there is no battery settings. Actually, let's check on the charger really quick. That's unfortunate. Let's go get another battery. Alrighty, so as you can see, it is fully charged right here. Fully charged. Perfect, so we are ready to go. It was fully charged, it just needed a little boost. All right, so we're gonna start off right here. Speed three. Ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. Do one more. Ready, go. Time. All right, so the Ryobi is next. Is the collet push in? Yes, it is. All right, so ready, go. Wow. And like I said before, just the way that feels compared to the how DeWalt did, I say this in a lot of videos, Ryobi requires the HP batteries to compete with DeWalt Milwaukee and the... Uh, the other brands like that. All right, so we, let's do another one. Ready, go. Very good. All right, so we are gonna take them out. Let's do it uh, two at a time. We're gonna fill it, uh, film it uh, one shot. I'm gonna go to the next one as fast as possible. All right, it's on speed three, so ready. Go. Time. All right, so let's do the Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. And like I said in previous uh, DeWalt videos, I have proved that there is a significant difference 
between the 1.5 and the 2 amp hour battery. So, let's see if the DeWalt will majorly uh, do even better than it just did. We got a 2 amp hour battery for the Ryobi. Let's make sure that's fully charged. Yes, you are. All right, we are good to go. All right, so the same thing. We're going to do two timber locks. Then we're going to move on to a lag. Ready? Go. Time. Let's do another one. Ready? Go. All right, let's do two for Ryobi. So, ready, go. All right, immediately I can tell that the Ryobi took longer for it to activate the anvil inside, which is a good thing, which is a very good thing. The less the anvil works, the more power the tool has. All right, so, ready, go. All right, let's take them out. Ready, go. Time. All right, it's Ryobi's turn. So ready, go. All right, the Ryobi is a lot louder than the DeWalt is, by a long shot. Let's assume that the Ryobi is the same thing as uh, the DeWalt, which the DeWalt has uh, full bars. We're going to uh, use the Makita uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. Do a four inch first. Yes, we are going to do this on speed three. Ready, go. Alrighty, right here is good. Speed three, ready, go. Time, 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 time. That that's surprising. Both of them did a good job. I thought both of them, both of these were going to struggle big time because of the low amp hours to put those in. But both of them actually did a good job. All right, so we are going to drive in a 6-inch right there. Let's see how well this does. What's the battery? We're going to assume the same battery life is on the Ryobi. Two bars left. Ryobi is probably at 70-something percent, which is all right. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Very, very good. And also the size difference, the size comparison. The uh, DeWalt is smaller as well. All right, so we're gonna do a six inch on the same ring. All right, so speed three, ready, go. Now, I hope that these are able to take this out. I do not want to whip out another battery, but
but I do have them just in case. So the DeWalt is going to take a four inch and a six inch out at once. And let's see what the time is. Then the same thing with the Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. I'm going to take the time out. It's okay. When it comes to that type of scrambling, I just take that time out and continue the time when it takes it out. All right, four inch first, then six inch. All right, so hopefully it can take it out. If this takes, if this is unable to take it out, it fails. Then the DeWalt is the automatic winner. All right, so ready, go. Alrighty, so we know the winner to that one. And the temperature, the highest temperature on, because I felt them, they are actually pretty warm. There we go, 76 degrees. And the highest temperature on the Ryobi, which I have a feeling is gonna be a lot hotter, 97 degrees. Both of them did it, uh, I'm shocked. I thought both of these were gonna have trouble with the low amp hour batteries to take the legs out, but they both did it. And obviously in this test, well, uh, when it comes to the lags, I think DeWalt took the cake on that one. Uh, when it comes to the test for the Timberlocks, I am not sure. The time is there already. So, yes, yeah. so, uh, this was a good video. And remember, this was only between the low amp hour batteries. We will be going to higher amp hour batteries in the future, along with the 6 amp hour batteries and 9 amp hour batteries. So, Today, this was just to see what the low amp hour batteries could do, and that's what they did. Which, uh, they both, uh, both of these impressed me. I seriously thought that with the low amp hour batteries, both of these would majorly struggle, which the main one that struggled was the Ryobi. So, once again, the model number for the Ryobi is P238, and the model number for the DeWalt is DCF887. Both of these are quarter inch hex impacts, brushless motors. And so, yes. Oh, and last thing, the, the Ryobi also has a tri-beam on the front, but no diffuser. So, that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.